All right, so I wanted to show progress at the end of day one of our new calving shed, of which I'm gonna build eight of these. So you can see that we have got the back wall up there and the front wall here. We had a bunch of engineering to do because what I wanna do on this front section here where there's this big opening is put a, a panel with a gate in it because I wanna be able to keep the cow confined in there and bring out the calf or keep the cow calf confined in there or whatever but trying to figure out how to deal with shear and all of the rest of it and supporting the roof was a bit of a challenge. We ended up using a four by six we milled up as a header basically to uh, do those things. So we got some temporary bracing on here as you can see just to keep the walls plumb. And uh, we have added a rafter on each end so that we can uh, start building these end walls. And uh, we're not gonna cut tails off or anything fancy like that but I do need to get some hangers there so we can support those rafters on that four by six header. And the idea being here, of course, is, is that this will be protection for three sides and a little bit in that corner over there. Uh, and it'll have a roof on it and it'll keep the snow off and this will have straw in it. And I'm hoping that this is enough room if I stand here, you know, to be able to pull a calf out of a cow if I have to. I am gonna take my calving pen that I got from AeroQuip there and I am gonna put it in its own special uh, shed custom built. So we're not, uh, I can use that thing right now. It's useless out in the snow, but I haven't done anything with it, of course, cause well, I don't have any calves yet. Nobody's due for a couple weeks here. So we're working hard to get this done because February 12th is the first date when I could have a calf. Uh, the bull went out May 5th, so it's theoretically possible. And uh, we need to get this done. So we're gonna work on it some more tomorrow and I'll show you the end walls there and then we're going to uh, put a roof on it and we're gonna put the three quarter inch plywood on it and uh, for shear I decided to go with three quarter inch even though it was 20 bucks a sheet more just because I don't really want to be doing this again anytime soon so we're actually gonna do inside bracing as well with rough cut lumber just for shear value uh, so when a thousand pound cow starts scratching at the corner or whatever it doesn't all collapse on me plus I'm gonna be towing these all over the property so calving sheds for Alaska. I hope this works and I hope that I'm got the right idea here rather than have one big building. I decided to go with this whole series of small buildings, uh, mobile buildings. Part of the reason for that is, is that keeping calving sheds clean can be a problem. And uh, if I put them on fresh ground all the time, then hopefully there's less chance of uh, bacterial contamination or scours or any of those problems. And I just think it's better to not have them all who's in the same spot. That's my own personal thought. Uh, and plus I can build these in the shop this winter. It's stupidly cold out right now. Whereas a big building, I couldn't do that. So, all right.